I did not allow myself to go through the depression that is a, a deep, dark hole that you can never crawl out of. I couldn't. I had a husband. We lost our firstborn, and I had three other children that needed me. It's been three and a half years. My son Joseph was 18, and he had this beautiful 71 Lincoln Mark III that he restored. He spent all his money restoring that car. The last thing he wanted was rims on that car. And it was, uh, it, you know, you think back and, and you start seeing these, the, this pattern and these things developing. But I remember when he wanted the rims, and I remember telling him, I said, son, why do you want rims? People get killed for their rims. In January of 2003, on January 12th, he was coming home from a date with his girlfriend. He had called me that night, told me exactly where he was. We had had some conversation. And um, he was carjacked and he was shot, and they took his car. They found it a little bit later on up the street at a park. It had, they had burned it, I guess, to eliminate all evidence. But the car still had the rims. They couldn't get them off. We've made it so far. It's a devastating thing to have to happen. I'm not alone, though. I have belonged to a few support groups that have helped me get through the process. My faith, my family, my friends, uh, were all there during that time. And if it hadn't been for that, I can understand how people can go into a depression so deep that nothing can get them out of it. You want to wake up, it's a nightmare. I still sometimes think I'm in a nightmare. But I remember one morning I woke up and, you know, you wake up crying, yet you, you just do. And I all of a sudden, my tears just dried up, and I knew in my head, I said, they're going to catch these guys. I know they're going to catch them. We did get two convictions, one is serving life, and the other one is serving five-year term. Um, and there were four involved in the crime. Two of them did get away, but they'll never run away from what they did. There are others that have it a lot worse than I do, that have gone through many more tremendous issues that I have, and I'm there to help them get through their, their pieces. There are people who've lost more than one child. I can't even imagine losing another child. Yet there are people who have lost more than one child, you know, to different tragedies. And uh, they've survived. And if they can do it, I can do it.